I am slick Nick, yet can I really be that slick if I'm asking you for direction, asking you for help? For all 53 of you who watch these videos, which are not the most popular topic that I talk about, body recomposition, I'm figuring this out as I go, but I am seeing results and I am happy about this. So let me start it out by saying the thing and then let's go through the details from there. So here's where I'm at. I'm two weeks into the following. Returning to very strict keto, but doubling my calories. So instead of 1,900, I'm doing actually well over 4,000 at this point a day while doing at least 30 minutes a day of weight training six days a week and then seven days a week going on a 40 minute walk or longer every day so i'm doing all those things and i'm still doing at least 170 grams of complete protein a day when i before i started doing all this stuff i just mentioned just now two weeks ago doing all of these things where i doubled the calories in addition to the harder workout and the complete protein and the full keto and the intermittent fasting where I'm only eating between 2 p.m. and 8 a.m. for the most part, despite all those things. Here's what I've learned, here's what I've observed. Before I started doing all of these things together, I was consistently weighing about 156 pounds and that was 1900 calories a day. And it wasn't as strict as keto as I'm doing now. So, so 156 pounds, that was kind of where I plateaued, okay? Since then, I'm consistently weighing about 160, 161 pounds. So somewhere between five and six pounds that we could say I've gained. Now, I'm gonna say this, because it's based on your comments, I'm not feeling it, any excess in my midsection at all. My shirts aren't harder to fit. I don't feel uncomfortable wearing clothes. My waist, my pants fit just as good as they ever did. So despite 4,000 calories a day, it seems that because I'm consuming enough protein, because I'm working out hard enough, I'm walking, I'm intermittent fasting, what if the majority of that five and a half pounds truly is muscle that's showing up? I mean, what if? It appears that this is really working for me and I'm very excited about it. And I've read your comments that basically when my weight loss or my weight gain plateaus, I need to have even more calories. So I can do that. I mean, even now it's kind of a struggle to eat as much as I'm eating. I'm eating a ton. So if, just refresher, I mean, I eat four eggs a day. I eat a can of tuna a day with 30 grams of protein. I will do usually a piece of fish, like a big piece of salmon. Now I've put in there uh, like a steak burger also. Um, then I've got usually two cups of Greek yogurt, a cup of full fat cottage cheese, a couple of blueberries, a couple of raspberries, a couple of those wasa fiber crackers. Not to mention, I'm doing uh, virgin olive oil tablespoon on my uh, tuna. Uh, I'm cooking an avocado oil for my eggs. I am putting butter in my coffee. I'm putting uh, coconut oil in my coffee. I'm putting heavy cream in my coffee. I mean, yeah, it's 4,000 calories easily. And yet I, two weeks into this, I feel and see no fat gain whatsoever. However, I actually feel in all over my body, my muscles, they're heavier. I, I feel it. Now, either I'm just wishful thinking and I'm deceiving myself or this thing's actually working. Keto, intermittent fasting, doing at least 170 grams of complete protein a day, and working out heavier than I ever have before. What do you believe? I only want the truth. I don't want to be deceived. What is truth? Tell me right here in the comments.